City police expanding their eyes on the streets. A new program encourages business and homeowners to register their surveillance cameras with the city. And WJZ is live. Megan McCorkle explains how the program will work. Megan? Well, Denise, homeowners and businesses that have private security cameras can now sign up for that voluntary program online. You see them on businesses and homes across the city, an extra set of eyes always watching. Do you have a security system here? Now uh, city officials are going door to door, asking people with private security cameras to sign up to help in the fight against crime. We want to get closer with our community. We want to work with our businesses. We want to attack the crime that uh, plagues some of our neighborhoods. The City Watch Community Partnership is a free voluntary program where people can register their cameras online, providing contact information, location of their camera, the type of camera, and the recording retention time. When a crime is committed, police will be able to tell who in the area has a camera that may have caught footage that can identify a suspect. You will only be contacted if the police believe your camera can help solve a crime. It was surveillance video inside a Waverly carryout that led to a major break in a 2011 murder case. Halloween night three years ago, 52-year-old Freddie Jones Jr. was gunned down inside Gal Brothers carryout as he waited for food. The killer, 18-year-old Markel Jones, was turned in by his own family members that saw this surveillance video on TV. He's now serving 50 years behind bars. City officials hope quick access to video like that could take criminals off the streets more quickly and provide the evidence needed to put them in jail. And the program does not give any kind of uplink or access to your camera to the police. It simply lets the police know the location of your camera. Reporting live, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Megan. And for information on how to sign your private security camera up for the City Watch Community Partnership, go to our website, cbsbaltimore.com. Meanwhile, police officers investigating crimes in Baltimore City will now have a new tool to help them, and it's thanks to private citizens. The City Watch Community Partnership came online today, and that brings together public and private security cameras into one database. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from City Hall tonight to explain how, how all this is going to work. Lowell. Yes, Dan, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Say you're a business or a private citizen, you have a security camera. Uh, what, ha what will happen here is if you register that camera with the city, and then something happens near where your camera is, police will be able to ask you for footage from that camera if you have it. So City Hall and police believe by having this new tool, it will definitely help down, uh, cut down on anything from violent crime to illegal dumping. A dozen cupcakes is fifteen ninety. Another busy day at the Avenue Bakery on Pennsylvania Avenue Thursday, but now, besides being known for its fresh rolls, it's the first business in the city to register its security cameras with Baltimore's new City Watch Community Partnership. This is great, and we've been working on and partnering with the police department for years in reducing crime and drug activity on Pennsylvania Avenue. Thanks to a $50,000 grant from the Able Foundation, the mayor's office of technology was able to create an online platform where city businesses and residents can register their security cameras so that if a crime happens near one, police can request the footage. If the incident moves out of the range of the city watch camera, sometimes we the the our ability to investigate is lost. Now, with this network, we'll have access to a broader uh, community of cameras. If an operator decides to register, they have to provide their contact information, type of camera, location, and recording retention time. Cameras are not actually linked to the system. Rather, it's just a way for police to know where the cameras are. Operators can also opt out at any time. Please let me reassure you that your data will be confidential and you will only be contacted if the police believe your camera can help solve a crime. Police officials say the new camera partnership will also allow for faster and more successful apprehension and prosecution of crimes. So if you're interested in registering your security camera, whether you're a business owner or a private citizen, we provided a link to the city's website on our website, WBALTV.com. We're live at City Hall tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News. Once one of Baltimore's most popular entertainment areas, Pennsylvania Avenue turned into a drug zone in recent decades. And the owner of the Avenue Bakery, James Hamlin, says police have never asked him for surveillance video when crimes have occurred on his block. 
I don't think they knew, I guess they can see that I have cameras, but they haven't had a need to. Uh, a couple of times uh, I've called them in because I saw something and allowed them to uh, take my camera and, and see what I had. The city is now launching a program to get business owners like Hamlin to volunteer information on what kinds of cameras they have and how long they keep the images to help them fight crime. Baltimore already has almost 700 blue light cameras, but this could add thousands more to a database which save police time trying to hunt down surveillance pictures before they can hunt down the criminals. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake says adding the cameras will not come at the expense of the participants' privacy. We do not have remote access to your cameras, nor can we connect to your cameras. Users also have the opportunity to opt out at any time. But I'm confident that this effort will make our police force more efficient, allowing officers to focus their resources on tracking down subs, uh, suspects while saving taxpayers dollars. While Hamlin says his bakery is attracting tourists again from across the country, he hopes by partnering with the City Watch program, people can recapture something lost here since the Avenue's heyday their sense of being safe. But if we're going to redevelop it and redevelop the nightlife and the evening life and things like that on Pennsylvania Avenue, they have to feel comfortable. City leaders say in the future they have even more usages they can think of for those extra cameras. Illegal dumping, for instance. They say they get calls all the time about that. With these cameras, they can help to crack down on it. Also, with lawsuits against the city, which ultimately could save the taxpayers' money. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Jeff Hager, ABC2 News. Baltimore residents and business owners can now help solve crimes. Amber Miller now explains a new city campaign today promising to put more eyes on the streets of Baltimore. We have the business here. Door to door. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Lou. Baltimore officials took to city streets Monday afternoon. I didn't even see it coming, but I'm glad it's here. Promoting a new initiative aimed at solving crimes. We want to get closer with our community. We want to work with our businesses. City Watch Community Partnership launched Thursday and allows residents and business owners to register their security cameras with the city. So when a crime happens, this will serve as a cooperative community effort, allowing our police to quickly identify camera systems in the proximity to crime scenes and to streamline the investigative process. James Hamlin, owner of Avenue Bakery. The uh, drug activity was heavy on Pennsylvania Avenue. You could walk up and down and they were selling just like they were selling out of stores. The first to commit. We've come a long way, a long way. Once you sign up, the city can collect and store data, including contact information and recording retention time. Email address. But the city's mayor promises privacy will not be breached. We do not have remote access to your cameras, nor can we connect to your cameras. Users also have the opportunity to opt out at any time. In Baltimore, Amber Miller, Fox 45 News. The program is free and those interested can register online.